simply on the Lions Clubs International website, which is Lions with an S, Lions Clubs, again with an S, dot org. Oh, okay. And from that site, there's, next to the big words, join and donate, there's a little hourglass. Okay. If you click on that hourglass, it opens a search uh, deal. And we're simply going to search for club officer, and it's E dash book. This is the e electric E dash book, B O O K. Okay. This is simply okay. this is simply the site from which you uh, look at all of the club officer training. Okay. So if we look at that, it brings up a lot of different uh, possibilities. It's the very top one, the one that simply says club officers. And then kind of on the lower right, there's a view button. And if we pick the view button, we get the possibility of seeing every training there is for president, secretary, treasurer, membership chair, service chair, marketing and communication chair, and LCIF uh, coordinator. So I'm simply choosing the club service chairperson ebook. Okay. And membership. Okay. I will. I'm still trying to find it, but I will find it. Okay. It, it's simply it's simply doing a search on the on the base LCI site and looking for a club officer E dash book. Okay. Now the club service chairperson book gives you a brief summary of what the job is. Uh, it simply says, I'll, I'll just paraphrase, you serve in the critical role of facilitating the development and implementation of your club service goal. Uh, a lot of this has to do with uh, if you've gone out in your community and done a needs assessment, maybe your community has told you some things that they need that your club isn't doing. And it kind of also reinforces if you're already doing service with your community, or are they the kind of things that the community is taking, uh, well, needs and is taking advantage of. And this is people, mm -hmm. this is people like your mayor or your city council or, or your school board presidents or uh, head of the library, just all kind of possibilities out there. And also it might be, uh, other things in your community like food banks or uh, other, other places you know that there's needs. So it basically just urges you to look over uh, a needs assessment and kind of try to uh, put the service in place that will satisfy the needs. As you go down on about page, let me see, yeah, these pages are numbered. Beginning on page four is all of our global causes, all five of them. And the top button choice on each service, uh, global service, is a one that's headed, like for example, diabetes service project ideals. So if, you, if your club doesn't ha have ideals for some of these, and I think the main one that 
people are struggling with is childhood cancer or diabetes. But if you choose any one of those, it produces a PDF, which you then can open and view. And it, it simply gives you a lot of ideals under beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Of course, beginner is usually things that you can do without a lot of cost to your club and maybe not as many members. And as you get higher in the levels, you're probably a larger club with uh, more uh, monetary resources. So anyway, that's just a way to get some of these ideals for things you might be able to do project-wise. Let me get out of this. And then uh, as you look as you look through that, you'll just see some uh, suggestions of things you can do. And here comes the real uh, meat of what we're doing. You go to member login right off the screen where you're viewing the, uh, the club service, I'm sorry, the uh, club officer training. And you pick member login. Log yourself in just like you normally do. And then you get all of the choices, my LCI, my line, shop, insights, and learn. In order to do uh, membership related functions, which is under my LCI, that's that's normally things that your club secretary does. Sometimes your club president has the same power as your club secretary. But the service chair is going to use my line. Also, the president and the secretary can also use my line and report service activities. But if you come under my line and click the go button, you're presented with a screen that, in my case, gives me the Saxe Lions Club. And that's because I'm the service chair for the Saxe Lions Club, just like you're the service chair for the Grand Prairie Host Lions Club. Mm -hmm. And under that, right now, it's showing me the number of people we've served, the number of activities, and the funds donated. If I click on activity button, second one from the right, it then fills in the 178 activities that we've done this year. And they're in uh, most current to oldest date order. So anyway, that's just showing you all the activities you've undertaken. If you got reoccurring activities, let's say it's your uh, club meeting. If your club meeting uh, naturally is reoccurring, you can click on your previous club meeting that you've already reported on and pick the duplicate button. And if you pick that, it allows you to have that same information generally in the in the uh, report you're going to make, but you can mm -hmm. do, you can do things like change the date, change the number of volunteers, change the volunteer hours, change the people served, whatever. In other words, it's simply a way to uh, create a new like club meeting report without having to retype everything. Yeah. So if somebody does, um, if somebody does a, a volunteer activity every week, you know, a member that does that volunteer yeah. activity every week, do you need to uh, to duplicate so you can enter each one of those individually, or could you like add up the hours for the month? Well, uh, you, you could do it all kind of ways. 
if you if you pick duplicate, all it does is make a, a brand new report and allows you to do things like I say, like change the date or, uh -huh. okay. or any, anything else that's in the report. Uh, another way to do that is to make the activity a signature activity. Uh, that's a little more complicated. I myself don't do a lot of that. I just I just duplicate uh, like you know uh, activities and do it mm -hmm. that way. But if you make it a signature activity, you can bring it up and and basically do the same thing that duplicate does anyway. Oh, okay. But you should uh, have each one individually instead of like summarized for oh. the month that. Well, this person yeah, did yeah. Each week, each week. Yeah, the the one the one thing the one thing that I do on a monthly basis because really it's not a real schedule is we've got a uh, project at the Saxe Lions Club where we're uh, growing and maintaining a garden for the food pantry. Mm -hmm. And so I just report that once a month. And I just say th say things like uh, ten lines, you know, did this kind of work, and it totaled 150 hours. It uh, served 200 people, and and then uh, I also make a report on the number of pounds we got off the garden. Like in May, we got 200 pounds off the garden of produce. In June, mm -hmm. so far we've got 250 pounds. And then uh, they make pictures of uh, the garden and themselves when they're out there. And uh, that's, this is a little hard to do without having that up. But uh, you can add those pictures. So let me, let me just run you through reporting an activity. There's okay, because I've recorded some, but I'm not sure if I'm recording them right. Okay, are you are you up on the website, or are you are you not? I still have not got in. I guess because I need to uh, log on myself, and I can't remember my password. Oh, okay. Well, let me just try to read you through it in words what you would be seeing visually. If uh, if you if you pick a button. The second from the left, under my line, it's it's simply report highest activity. Uh huh. And I have done that. Yes. Okay. So report highest activity. Then there's a big orange report plus button that you click next. You just click on it. Mm -hmm. And now now you're in a blank activity form. And you just give it a name, like I'm just making one up here. I'm I'm, type, I'm typing program on diabetes, and uh, down under option two, which is activity details, it's got the choice between single day and multiple day. Remember we? Oh, I must overlook that. Okay. Yeah, we were discussing if you wanted to. Uh, like report on it monthly, I pick multiple day, and then I pick a start date. And if I pick multiple day, it gives me a button that is called end date. So for example, if, if it was a multiple day event, I can make my start date something like June the 1st, and I can make my end date I cannot, uh, I've, I've been telling everybody this, right now it, uh, the site does not allow you to report a past activity on today, like it won't let you pick the 20th. So you have to kind of wait till a day after your activity occurs if you're going to report it that way. Oh, so okay. I, I'm simply picking June the 19th. So the way this reads right now, I've picked multiple day, start date is 6-1, end date is 6-19. All of the boxes that are in pink are required, and, 
for you to fill in in some manner. So we've got, we've got the start date and the end date filled in. The next box down is activity type. And there's four choices, a service activity, a fundraiser, a meeting, or a donation. And I'm, I'm just going to put in a service activity. And the next pink box is called cause. And it lists the five global causes and a utter button, O-T-H-E-R. So if it doesn't fit one of the five global causes, like if it's a community related cause that has nothing to do with the five global causes, you would pick the other button. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just to be doing though, I'm picking diabetes, which then also brings one more pink box up called project type. And under this project type, it's got various types of diabetes uh, uh, things that clubs can do, like doing a diabetes retreat having a strides walk for diabetes, sponsoring a diabetes support group, so forth and so on. I'm just going, mm -hmm. to, I'm just going to pick diabetes education and advocacy. And that's just, that's just something that you decide to fill in. And then the number of people served is the number of people maybe that uh, you helped with your event or attended your event. So you put in a number of people served, and then you put in the total number of volunteers. And people ask the question, is this lines only? And no, it's not. Uh, our club does a lot of uh, our families help us with our activities. So you put in not only your lines, but you put in your family or let's say the Boy Scouts help you with something or something like that. Let's go ahead and add that total volunteer button uh, number. And then total volunteer hours is usually as simple as how long did the project take, like a three hour period. And if you had uh, three volunteers and it took you three hours, your volunteer hours would be nine. Mm -hmm. So you would put volunteer hours at nine. Now, huh. Next is a description, which is simply free form. You just say what you did. And I'm just going to put a diabetes screening. Now, this is the part I've been showing everybody that may be hard to understand if you're not looking at it. For all of these things that we do, LCI provides a, a default photo. And they also have an upload button that allows you to upload your own photo. And I found this out just by uh, doing it, that it's better to go ahead and the first time you make this report, just let it choose the LCI default photo. And That's then, what I've been doing, <laughs> but yeah. I'm going to work on trying to figure out how to put a picture in there. <laughs> well, okay, well, here, here it comes. You'll hit the report button, and almost immediately it comes back and says successfully submitted. And so now I have, I have the activity created. And if I then go to the button, second one from the right called activities, and change my recurring argument to past activities, it shows me that event. So it's established. Oh. And so now that the event has been made, you can go into it. And let me find it here. Yeah. You can go into it and click on it and hit the edit button. And once you're in edit, you can change anything in the report. And that includes the button called featured photo. 
and on the bottom middle left is a button called upload and what the upload okay. but what the upload button does it allows you to select an image off of your pc i have a i have my images stored in all kind of folders and this is a Saxe Lions Club garden event, so I know by the way I, I, I save everything that this, these pictures related to this event are going to be in the Saxe Lions Club folder. So when I hit the Select Image button, I simply choose the Saxe Lions Club folder, and, the, and within it, the picture I want to put in to the report. I hit the open button and the image loads into, loads into the report you just made. And with the button. Okay. With I, see, that's why I could never do it, I guess, because it's after you already complete yeah. your report. And I've been well, trying to figure out how to do it while I'm doing my report. Well, you can do it while you do the report. The trouble is that requires all of those pixels, you know, that pixels are actually bytes of data that has to mm -hmm. move that has to move from your computer to the Lions Club's international site in order in, in order to make that picture come out. That that's a simple explanation of what happens. Oh, uh huh. But basically, all it's doing is moving the image of your picture into the LCI site so it can show it. And on, on the picture you just put in here, there's buttons that allow you to crop the picture. Do you understand kind of what that means? Mm -hmm. you, yeah, you can, you can move it left and right, up and down. You can make it smaller. You can make it larger to a certain limit. And, and once the picture looks good, you just hit the save image button. And once okay. You, and once you've done that, you're in edit mode. So you simply hit the report button. And now it's, it successfully submits the report in no time at all. But it's still, if you click on activities and come back in, it still has the default picture for an amount of time that it's still going to take to load it out to LCI. But if you're doing multiple reports at the same time, it doesn't hold you up. Because you can go on and start making, just picking the report past activity button again and keep, mm -hmm. on, and keep on making other reports while your picture is your picture is loading and if you're doing multiple of them eventually you may have uh, three or four reports made in the time it takes the picture to get loaded up so it's, it's just a way to save you some time not just sitting there at your computer waiting for the picture to load waiting for that oh yeah that's a good tip <laughs> okay so that's that's my tip for the day uh, so once you've done all of that, uh, in, other in other classes, I've been showing people how to expand, <coughs> excuse me, how to expand your view from your club <coughs> to the district, the multiple district, and all of LCI. And I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to go get a drink of water. <laughs> okay. I think that's better. So, uh, for example, right now, I click the Saxe Lions Club button, it tells me we've served 10,285 people. If I click the District 2X1 button, 
we've served 131,000 people. If I click the multiple district two, which is the state of Texas, we've served 1.4 million people in our 16 districts. Mm -hmm. The U.S. and affiliates have served just over 20 million people. And all of LCI has served 200, just short of 204 million people this year. We've committed 205 million volunteer hours and we have donated over 11 billion dollars mm. as Wines Clubs International. And if, if you look at that on a global basis, India, Southeast Asia, and the Middle East have served 117 million people. So remember that total number is 203? This, mm -hmm. short of, this short of 204. That tells you where Lions Clubs International's future is. Uh, it, has a, it has something to do with the population of India and Southeast Asia and the Middle East, but it also just has to do with they this plane do more service than we do in the U.S. Now, that may be because there's more needs in a country like India or uh, the South Asia countries over there in the Middle East, but it, it partly is because they just plain do more also. Mm -hmm. So, so can, uh, can other people see that? I mean, like if I'm entering, can I look and see all that or is that something? Every, that every, the, every person can see this that's on my line. This, this isn't a hidden thing just for officers. Everybody can see this. Mm -hmm. Remember though, the only, the only thing I can change and you can change is your own club. You, you can't go into this and, and change anybody else's information. You can go into this though and get ideals on other things you might be able to do as a club. For example, if you went to District 2X1, just around, you know, our area, and you then looked at a club like, uh, you kind of know who the, who the uh, service leaders are in our district. One of them is Capel. And if you look at the Capel Lines Club, let me find uh, how to change their stuff here. We can get it. For example, if you wanted to see the uh, Capel Lines Club by itself, you would sort. And the way you sort is once you have a metric screen up, it's got the header columns, date, activity name, club, cause, location. I think the, the important ones is the club button, mm -hmm. the date, and the cause. For example, if you wanted to know some of the causes that maybe your club hasn't done yet, the ones that are going to come to the top are, are going to be the ones that the, have uh, been done by the least number of people in the district. So for example, if I bring up District 2X1, Heist Activities, and I'm in the matrix choice in this view, and I pick the button that sorts calls, there's only been 11 childhood cancer 
activities reported. Mm -hmm. One is one is by my club, Saxy, and we simply donated two hundred dollars to the uh, Children's Cancer Hospital. I know uh, Dallas Filipino has some, um, Capel has some, Richardson Midday, Richardson Host, Dallas Oak Cliff, and Dallas White Rock. And so uh, it's simply a way to look, look at the uh, causes and maybe pick out the ones that you haven't done or or you could get ideals on other causes that you have done just to see if uh, it's something maybe your club could do that it's not oh yeah doing. so anyway that's that's a way to look at uh your causes uh you could also sort it by club and uh this gets tricky because your your grand prairie host uh this entire screen I'm sorry, this entire District 2X1 choice is 103 pages of data, and there's six, I'm sorry, there's, yeah, there's 16 activities on each page. So we're looking at something just short of 1,650 uh, reports. Now, if, you, if you're sorted in the club hard column, you've got to kind of think, well, about where would I fit by, by my club name in, a, mm -hmm. in the total? And Grand Prairie would fit somewhere just past the middle. So if there's 103 pages, you should be somewhere around page 52. Oh, and you, okay. And you can, you can uh, there's a page number one but if you come in and change that to like page 52, now this isn't going to be perfect. The reason is ahead, <laughs> ahead of Grand Prairie is some of the heavier reporting clubs such as Capel and, and Dallas Oak Cliff. Mm -hmm. so, so you're a little, the point is you're a little further down into the district report than you would think you are. I'm going to try page 60. Page so 60. is that it, so it's not alphabetical, it's by who? It, it, uh, it is. It, it, well, it, it's alphabetical if you come to the header column. There's, mm -hmm. a, header, there's a header column called date. There's a header column called activity name. There's a header column called club. If you come to oh, the okay. if you come to the header column and just click on the header column, it'll sort it in that order. Really, really, what that button does, it sorts it ascending or descending. Oh, okay. So, really, that's all it's doing. Uh, by the way, page sixty presents Greenville. What that tells you is you're a little before Greenville. If I, just mm -hmm. click, I click back a page and I get Grand Prairie host. And I'm just going to come here. Yep. And I'm going to read through Grand Prairie host. And I see you've got 16 on this first page. Uh, got activity. Oh, name. I still have a bunch to enter. Okay. It's got, got things like drop off uh, groceries, hunger calls, Noche de Navidad, hunger calls, uh, decorating pumpkins with the Cub Scouts, family night meeting, lunch for homeless, trip to the Texas Lions camp, so forth and so on. So it's just got all of the activities that your club has entered. And it looks like it's 16 of them. That's all I see. That sound about right, or do you know? That's probably what I've entered, but there's a, there's a more than that. People have been sending me things. For a while, nobody sent me anything. And so mostly it was just, you know, when we did an activity as a big group. Yeah, yeah. Now people are sending me information. 
uh, we're, we're good. Uh, I cannot I cannot see your your raw uh, uh, numbers like I can with the Saxe Club, but just to show, read your total lines across, it, say, it says you've served twenty five hundred and ninety one people, one hundred and sixty for the diabetes cause, two seventy for the environment, none for childhood cancer, twelve twenty for hunger relief, none for vision, and 941. Oh, I understand some vision things, yeah. Well, and 941 for all others. So if you wanted to get all of the causes, you still got to fill something in for childhood cancer and vision. Now on vision, um, we uh, pay for glasses for people. Okay. Um, with and one of the local optometrists, he will see them at at his cost and oh yeah and, and but and so we pay for it. So I have not entered those things, but it's like every every one or two months we're paying for somebody's classes. Okay, so, that, that that is definitely the vision cause, and even if you even if instead of making it a service activity, you make it a donation. It oh, still, okay. It, it still asks what cause benefited from that. Not only that, but uh, this is harder to do since uh, you can't see the screen. But if you pick a service activity, and I'm going to back out and actually pick it so I got it in my mind exactly how to do this. If you pick report heist activity, And you come in and for example you pick the donation button oh okay and you pick the calls vision now it gives you a button called U.S. funds donated. And if you're paying for the for the uh, eye exam and eye glasses, you just put in the, uh, the uh, number that that's worth or that it costs. Uh-huh. Okay, so I can enter those. Uh, yeah. Pretty quick. Okay. So, and then there's people. Am I the only one on this call besides you? You are. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> you're, you're the only one left the train. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I did it at the time. It was supposed to be for my zone. So I, I, I could have done it earlier. But yeah. uh, okay. So let me just ask another question. All right. so when people start sending me things of, of what they've done, uh there's a couple of them that list um meetings of other types of service organizations like uh or optimus club and wow. i didn't know if that was something we should put on ours or not or not put on i'm i'm going to give you my answer and it's the lci answer to you by the way you should include every activity no matter if if you did it as a line or if you did it like for another group as part of being part of another group or you did it for your community on your own and no other line participated in it but you it's still mm -hmm. it's still service you gave and you're a line so that being the okay. case that being the case you should report it through my line because that's what you okay. are <laughs> Yeah. Okay. But uh, the one that I that I really was not sure about was that somebody who was just going to a meeting of another service organization, not um, a service activity, but like an Optimus Club meeting. Remember that when you report past activity, it's got 
It's got all of the choices. of the activity type mm -hmm. the choices are service activity fundraiser meeting and donation oh. so you simply okay choose, and see i was thinking oh go ahead you, you simply choose the meeting button and it, so it doesn't have to be a lions club meeting it could no. be right okay okay you just choose the meeting button, fill in the total number of volunteers. If it's just one person going, I, I quite often, because I report my activities, the things I do, we my club, and I just put one volunteer because it's me. If I'm mm -hmm. going, if I'm going like to a state meeting or even a district meeting that I'm the only line from my club there, it's just one volunteer. So for example, you can, okay. fill it, you can fill in the number one, and then you can fill in the number of hours you were at that meeting. Put in a description of the meeting. Do the same thing with the photo. You can take the default photo first. And once you've taken the default photo and hit the report button, it simply makes that report. Okay. Then you come into the activity button, look at past activities. Now you, your, uh, that report that you just put in has been made with the default picture. And remember, you simply click on that default uh, right on the report and hit the edit button. Okay. Once, once you hit the edit button, now you can go in and change anything in the report you just made, and that includes the photo. So you can select an image and load it in, crop it in any way you need, and then simply save the image. And once you hit the save image button, you just come down and hit the report button again, and it'll make the report. And eventually, within a few minutes, the activity will have your picture in it, not the default picture because it'll be replaced behind the scenes. That makes sense? It does, okay. All right. Uh, really, since we don't have any LCIF chairs in the meeting, I, I don't have anything else on the service reporting, so ask as many questions as you want to. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, you know, I got on the LCF website and I got the club officer training, but I yeah. can't, and I got to a page that shows responsibilities for each, um, uh, officer. Yeah. And I see the service chair, but I, I don't see what your, um, I don't you, see you, you this don't, training, I don't think. You don't, you don't see how I got to this training? Uh, let me go I guess through. I don't see that. Let me let me go through that one more time here. Because I didn't have it up. I didn't have it open at that time because I had to change my password. Oh. When you were telling how to do to get to this training. Yeah. Um, when I wasn't on the in the right spot, so. The way, the way you get to uh, the default here, and I have to close out some uh, boxes here, so it's taking me just a little bit of time. To okay. Yeah. When, 
when I actually, uh, I've, I've got everything uh, saved to my desktop. And you you kind of know how that works, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I've just got a large button up here, has the Lions Club's international symbol, and it simply says community service. If I click on that box, it brings up the website, lionsclubs.org. That's, mm -hmm. sim that's simply, that's known as the landing page for LCI, Lions Clubs International. Under the Lions Club International site, there's all kind of things that anybody in the world can look at. Anybody in the world can look at, discover our story, explore our impact, start your service, support your foundation, resources for members, coronavirus, our response, and on, mm -hmm. the, and on the right side is, is a bunch of of larger buttons. One is a join button. That would be if you wanted to join Lions Clubs International. It'll give you a suggestion or a way to uh, say where you are. And then a, a person like myself, a district governor, gets a report from Lions Clubs International that basically says something like, you know, John Jones in uh, Grand Prairie, Texas, is looking to join a Lions Club. Mm -hmm. And then I would contact your club through email and say, here's a person that may want to join your club. Go ahead and contact them and see if there's, if they would be a good fit. And uh, you can discuss some things about your club, you know, what you do, where you meet, uh, things like mm -hmm. that and just see if there's a mutual interest so you can get you can get members that way they also have a button called donate naturally the donate button lets even the public donate to lines club but next to those two default buttons is an hourglass just a little magnifying looking glass like we used when we were kids or <laughs> a few years ago. Yeah. yeah. Just a few years ago before we could make our computer screens large. <laughs> but anyway, if you click if you click on that hourglass button, it brings up a search engine. Like just like Google search or any of the others. It's simply a way of searching the LCI site for things you want to see. And so, for example, I suggested typing club officer <coughs> ebook. And the ebook club has officer. club officer e dash book. E yeah, that's okay. Good. That just stands for electronic book. Yeah, um, so, See, and and I went through a different route, and so I didn't get to that. Well, I'm just I'm just saying this is the way I found. There's all kind of ways to argue this and get into it, but this works for me, and I can promise you it'll work for you. Okay. Well, I'm going to do that. So just club officer ebook in the search argument and hit enter or pick the search button. And once you've done that, it brings up some items. And usually the most useful and the most popular one is the first one. The reason for that, there's an argument in here that says more people pick this argument than any other. Mm -hmm. it, it's kind of like Google usually puts the most useful argument at the top. Now, sometimes Google, though, might be swayed by what amount of money a company paid, maybe mm -hmm. first, first in line. So uh, they may put them at the top. But under, under this search argument, there's one just called Club Officers, and there's a view 
B-I-E-W button. If okay, pick, I'm right you, there. If you pick the view button, you'll, you'll see a list of all of the club officers that they have training for. And the fifth one down is club service chairperson. Okay, I'm right here now. Yay! Okay, <laughs> if you've clicked on club service chairperson, down in the blue, there's buttons called serve, diabetes, vision, hunger, so forth. Mm -hmm. Right above that, though, in the little paragraph, it also in blue, there's a section that the second paragraph simply says the club service chairperson ebook. Okay. And you see how that's in blue? Oh yeah, I just need to print this. <laughs> well, it's what that this is what's known as a hyperlink. And all that means is somebody behind the scenes has made a link that if you simply click on this in blue, it launches that link. So you don't have to know the link, you simply click on the words and it brings up the 14 page Club Service Chairperson ebook. Were you able to do that? I did, yeah, I'm right in there. Okay, so you, you see the- Scrolling through that. Okay, so you see the, the book, you just page on down and uh, on page, let me count my pages here because I don't see these in numbers. I think it's page three. There's a welcome to club service chairperson ebook. Mm -hmm. And so it just tells you some things about it. The next oh yeah, three. I can just print this and read this. <laughs> you, yeah, you sure can. You can print this out. And like I was explaining before, further down, there's a whole whole section on our global causes, and mm -hmm. all of them all of them have things you can look at. The top one is always the service project ideals, so you may can get some simple ideals from that. If you see one of the more specific things, like under diabetes, there's strides for diabetes awareness. If you click on that, you'll get the reports or the, and when you click on these, it creates a PDF or a document that's in your lower left hand column or, or bottom of your screen. And so mm -hmm. you, you click on that and it launches that PDF that it made. Okay. Okay, well, I think, I think I've got it now. All right. I've got this and then I, I've asked my questions about, because I do know basically how to uh, enter um, service projects and different things, but you've answered the questions I have. Okay, well, great, great. Well, I think that's all I have. So uh, keep asking more questions if you have some more.